ready. No magic tricks for today, but listen to our song. is important in your daily life. For example, my father bought a chocolate bar. Me and my siblings have to divide it equally. I can cover my siblings for a week. For example, I save 50 cents a day. So a week, I multiply 50 cents by 7. When I go to canteen, I can calculate how much money is left during subtraction. I use addition to count the total amount given during Hari Raya. Our friends' answers are, are related to our topic. But before we go further, let us introduce our team. Assalamualaikum. I am the leader. My name is Diva. My name is Misa. My name is Justin. My name is Iman. We We are only going to focus the other operations of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Our objectives are... So, how are we going to do the order of operation when we have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction? Let's move to the next segment. Order of operation is pretty good combination of the four basic operations. Those are multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. To explain the order of operation, we are going to do the grouping method. Let's start. There are three groups. Group 1 is the brackets. Group 2 includes multiplication and division while addition and subtraction are group 3. To solve the numerical expression, it must be answered in order. Group 1 needs to be answered first, then followed by whichever comes first in group 2. Finally, the answer can be added or subtract. Since the topic says without brackets, so we left with group 2 and 3. Let's begin with a simple question. 50 plus 24 divided by 8. Since the division is in group 2, we need to solve it before addition. 24 divided by 8 will give us 3. Then, we do the addition. 50 plus 3 equals to 53. Let's try something more tougher. 120 divided by 4 minus 2 times 11 plus 61. Now, once again, to do the numerical expression in group 2 that includes division and multiplication before addition or subtraction, we begin with 120 divided by 4 that gives us 30. Then it will look like this. 30 minus 2 times 11 plus 61. Next is to solve multiplication since group 2 need to be solved before group 3. 2 times 11 equals to 22. It will give us 30 minus 22 plus 61. So, since we left with group 3, we solve whichever comes first and do it from left to right. 
13 minus 22 is 8. 8 plus 61 will give us the answer that is 69. How was the explanation? Did you get the idea already? Easy, right? Me and Justin are going to challenge the girls in two activities. Because seven hundred and 
16 minus 352 is equal to 6 minus 2 is 4. 11 minus 5 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. But he did okay, okay. 365. And 248 divided by 8 is equal to 31 but he did the 30 so Justin answer is incorrect so Misa can you explain about Iman's answer sure thank you Lifa. as you can see this question there is no brackets so we start with group 2 okay that includes multiplication and division and group 3, that is addition and subtraction. Why that Iman's answer is correct? Because he did the multiplication first. As Ifa said, the answer is 352. Then he bring down 716 minus 352 plus 248 and divided by 8. As you can see, there is still group 2 left which is division. He did that first. As Ifa said, the answer is 31. He bring down again he bring down again 716 minus 352 plus 31. There, there is only left group 3 which is addition and subtraction. We do it which is comes first. That subtraction comes first then addition. 716 minus 352 is 364. Then, then he add by 31 and it equals to 395. That is why Iman's answer is correct. Let's move to our last segment. that given by a mystery teacher from our school. This blue marker pad is our answer. Do we give the correct answer? You guys at home can try it out. Please comment down below at my YouTube channel. Yay! We have achieved the three objectives. It is time for Conclusion! Bye!